Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have the Facebook Bolo video. So in this video, what I have done is I have invited people from my Facebook group to join in and share their best July Bolo. And I am going to string all of those Bolos together for you guys. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And you guys be prepared for some big money bolos. I'm telling you, this is going to be awesome. Um, if you're not in my Facebook group, the links are down below. Definitely um, come on over and join, be a member. And I hope to do this next month. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for being here. Um, again, these are members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. All right, we're going to get started here. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, here is the first big money Bolo. These tarot cards sold for $115. And the seller, the member of my Facebook group, picked these up at a garage sale for $1.50 and sold them for full asking price and the buyer paid the shipping. So definitely a be on the lookout. The next item was picked up at the Goodwill bins, paid around 50 cents for it and sold in a couple of days on best offer. Looks like it sold for $125. And I'm not really sure, it says floppy disk game. So it's an old floppy disk game, you guys. Would you have ever guessed? Let me know in the comments what you think about some of these big money bolos. The next item we have definitely went over and talked about in this group before. Um, but he bought this in a bundle of toys off Marketplace. So he has about $3 in it and it sold for full asking price of $299.77 plus shipping. So the My Pet Monsters are definitely a bolo. The next item was sold by my reseller treasure, Brandy. Definitely check out her YouTube channel. She knows so much about Barbies. Uh, she sold this 60th anniversary Barbie for $49.49. .49. She picked it up in a large toy lot and it cost her about $3.60 for the item. The box was damaged and open. So um, she said could have priced higher if the box was not damaged. The next item is a vintage Adderley's Best Bone China. So it's like a cup and saucer set. And this came from an auction lot. After fees and tax, cost was about $8.04 and took a best offer of, oops, I'm sorry, sold for $75. I'm not sure if it was best offer or not, but definitely be on the lookout. This next item was picked up at a local thrift store for a dollar each. So a total of $6 was listed for two months and sold for full asking price of $160 and these are goblets it says huh interesting hand painted very very cool would you have picked these up let me know in the comments what you guys think the next item are these shoes they're Brooks men's shoes looks like they are new paid $15 at a local thrift store and sold in a couple of weeks for full asking price. So $69.99 plus shipping. So it looks like their thrift store had new, brand new shoes. That's cool. The next item is this Blenco vase, and it was picked up at the Goodwill for 99 cents, you guys. It took about two weeks to sell. Uh, first sale of July and a pretty good one, selling for $65. Uh, free shipping promo going on so no one paid the shipping and it looks like that is a Mercari sale So that's really neat The next item is this Mario games uh, He said they're going for great profits if you can find them at a good deal This sold for $60 
and I'm not sure if the buyer paid shipping and I'm not sure where they got it. So I apologize for that, missing a little info on this one, but definitely a Bolo item to be on the lookout for. The next item is a super cool Care Bear. Um, this one came from the Goodwill for $5 and something cents. Um, it's a Care Bear, you guys. It's a limited edition rare Maverick Yellow I Love You Care Bear. And it sold for $212.50. That is amazing. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I'm definitely going to be looking for it. The next item, $0.99 cents from the Goodwill, three-fourths full. She says, I think undercut myself because it sold in a couple of hours. So it's one of those where, oh, did I sell it too cheap because it sold really, really fast. This is a perfume. I'm guessing it's probably retired or harder to find. Sold for $59.99 plus shipping. The next item came from the Goodwill, $4.99 and sold for full asking price in 20 minutes, you guys. Found out it's worth more, but still great money. Sold it for $130. It is a Starbucks 20 ounce tumbler from 2017. Yeah. Some of those Starbucks items can go for big money, so definitely look for them. The next item was bought at a yard sale for $0.25, cents and it sold for $125. It's a Victorian Cremence 14 karat gold watch pin, a natural pearl and enameled forget-me-nots. So, yeah. Is it like a brooch? Hmm, interesting. All right, the next item that sold came from the Goodwill, 99 cents. Check out this awesome mug. It's Calvin Klein, Andy Warhol, Sandra Brandt mug, Fiesta wear, you guys. Sold for $85 plus shipping. Now that is a cool bolo. Um, I definitely probably would have picked it up just because it's so different. Never seen a mug like that. The next item, wow. Uh, this was bought at Savers for $7.99 and picked it up because it was signed and heavy. Sold in just a couple days for full asking price. Uh, she said, now I really want to look through the metal aisle when I thrift. Yes, I can see why this sold for $400 and the buyer paid the shipping. Wow, that's a huge bolo. The next item was bought off of Facebook Marketplace local pickup for $20, took a best offer of $450, and it sold really fast. It is a Margaritaville mixed drink maker bartender machine. Wow. And it looks like they tested it and put a video in the description of their eBay listing. If you guys don't know how to do that, I do have a video that shows you how. The next item is this Malibu International General Lee RC car, Dukes of Hazard. You guys, Dukes of Hazard is almost always a bolo. This car sold for $77, bought for $5 at a yard sale. She said her husband had it on his shelf for about two years. He says, see what you can get for this. And it sold in less than 30 minutes. So might have been a good auction item. The next item are these boots. Bought at a garage sale for a dollar and sold for asking price of $104.95. Um, Vibram Furoshiki? I don't know how to say it, you guys. But they're tall boots. Um, hmm, never heard of them. I hope I can remember that name because that is a nice bolo. The next item paid $0.50 cents for at a yard sale and sold within 24 hours. For $100, Shelley Duvall's uh, Fairy Tale Theater, the complete series. So I don't know if that's a DVD or a book. Hmm. Sometimes it's hard to tell with these screenshots. But check it out, zoom in, and definitely be on the lookout. The next item paid $5 at a garage sale. Two offers of $320 within 30 minutes of listing. Sold for $500 in 12 hours. It's a rare vintage ah, Fisher stereo microphone. Interesting. This item is a Metallica S&M with uh, Michael Carmen Orchestra cassette tapes, you guys. $60 is what they sold for. Bought at a storage unit sale for $1. So Metallica sealed cassette tapes. Definitely cool. 
And uh, the next item, picked up at an estate sale for about $15, sold within the week. It was listed for $900 plus shipping. He said, this is my best July bolo. I posted it on Instagram and YouTube. Already got positive feedback on it. It sold for $899 plus shipping. Yeah, these old ceramic, not ceramic, <laughs> aluminum trees are definitely a bolo. But this one also had the base. Okay, got these at a yard sale thrift store and thrift stores over weeks. About $20 in, decided to do an auction and was pleasantly surprised. They sold for $90.01. It looks like they are CDs. Uh, a lot of 40 CDs. Lotting things up is always a great option. The next item was sold by The Thrifty Nurse. And definitely check out her YouTube channel. She said, this is my highest profit item for July, I believe, besides that artwork. Um, got it at a thrift store for $6 and sold it for $120 plus the buyer paid the shipping um, on Facebook Marketplace. This is The Thrifty Nurse on YouTube. Definitely check her out. Here are a couple of her most recent videos. And it looks like she got, or this sold actually on Facebook Marketplace, which has a 5% selling fees. So more profit, she said. It sat on Mercari for a month and sold as soon as she cross posted it. Bolo Buddies member Franklin Hill Ventures sold this right here, this picture. And he got this at an estate sale. He paid $30 for it and it sold for $135 in his antique booth. So a little bit different way of selling things, but definitely welcome for this type of video. I love it. Um, check him out on YouTube for more info about booths. The next Bolo Buddies member shared her Bolo. This is Terry from Mindful Recycle and she sold this Walkman. And she got this at an estate sale. She paid $2 for it and it sold for $202.50. Sony Walkmans can definitely be a bolo. The best part is this was for parts and repair or repair, I should say. It did not even work. So the next item is Cost of goods was $3 at the Goodwill bins and sold for $1,700. Had it listed for about four weeks. It's a, uh, I can't read, uh, hold on. 1930s Meccano number no. two constructor car, green and white version. Wow, wow, wow. The next item sold by Be Carried Away. Carrie, who also has an awesome YouTube channel, definitely check her out. And she picked this up at the Salvation Army for $5.99. She purchased it during the Thrift 5 and 15 challenge that I had. And there's a video on her channel about this. And she sold this for $99. It is a Lily Pulitzer dress. And it's new with tags. So a nice find there. The next comes from Amanda, a little bluebird. That is the name of her eBay store. She also has a YouTube channel but she sold these paints. She paid $65 for a whole lot of paints. And as you can see here, there are three solds totaling $238. She said this was fun and her first experience with paying up. So yeah, vintage paints that are discontinued can definitely be a big money bolo. She sold one for 88, one for 55 and one for 95. So definitely be on the lookout. The next item is this Lego El Dorado Fortress Village 99, or I'm sorry, vintage, 99% complete Lego land, sold for $260 plus shipping, snuck into a local yard sale two days early to buy all the GI Joes, saw the Legos, bought for $3. Wow, what a lucky find, right? The next item paid $2 at a yard sale, Sold for full asking price of $95. It's a Verizon wireless Nokia cell phone, Bluetooth speaker phone. Huh, interesting. So definitely be on the lookout for boxed items, you guys. Uh, I don't know if that's new old stock or pre-owned with the box, but definitely be on the lookout. 
Okay, this next one, I love this. So this is, I can't remember what it's called. Um, they didn't post a screenshot of the eBay listing, but it's, I think it's from uh, Full House, I think, and sold fast for $429.99, best offer, estate sale find, $5 for an entire box of stuff. So cool. I think it was Full House. The next item comes from Bolo Buddies member, YouTube channel member, Jack's Treasures. Definitely go check him out on YouTube, but check out this amazing Bolo. This is the favorite Bolo because it was bought at an antique mall, paid $5, and it literally looks like a piece of wood. And it sold for $68 plus shipping in less than a day. How cool is that? It says vintage... Oh, let me see. Wood hat block mold. The next item are these Bluebird Made in Japan salt and pepper shakers. They are darling. Bought at a yard sale on Thursday. Paid 30 for a tote full of vintage salt and pepper shakers. So just pennies in. Listed them and they sold in a few hours for full asking price of $64.99. So the little salt and pepper things with the faces, definitely a bolo. The next item are these Dr. Scholl's Exercise Wood Slides, and I have sold these before. Um, she bought these at a thrift store, 25% off day for $5.25, sold in a week for full price of $75.95, and they were new without tags. The next item came from a... The next item are these size 13 Nike Air Foam Posit Pro Purple Camo Shoes. Looks like they're a high top. They came from a yard sale, paid $2 for those, did an auction, and they sold for $86. Not sure who paid shipping on that. I can't tell by the screenshot, but not a bad bolo for a $2 pickup. And those are pretty wild purple. The next item is this vintage croquet set. And these sold for $75. She picked them up at, picked them up for $3 and they sold within 24 hours. Um, I know it, I'm pretty sure it's Dad Planet has sold several of these before. I know this is one item that he bolos for. I definitely wouldn't because I would not want to ship them, but they are definitely a bolo. The next item bought for $10 on Facebook Marketplace, sold within a day for $200. Drill Dozer. It's a Nintendo Game Boy Advance game. New, factory sealed. Yeah, definitely check out anything that is new and factory sealed that goes to a gaming system or anything like that. Um, they can definitely be big money. The next item comes from Chosen Goods Reseller. She um, has a YouTube channel. Definitely go check her out. Here are some of her videos. She picked this vintage dress up at the Goodwill for $4.29. It is a high-low hattie dress, and it sold for $82.46. Definitely a bolo item. She does have a video where she actually thrifted this item. So if you guys want to see her finding that item, see her thrifting in action, you can go check that out. The next item was bought, um, he bought two boxes filled with vintage walkie-talkies for $5. This item was also included in the box. It's a Motorola key loader, no clue what that is, but it is a Bolo. It sold for $999.99. Wow, um, definitely amazing Bolos for sure. Thank you so much to everyone that participated. Thank you to everyone that watched. Be sure to go over and join both of my Facebook groups. They are linked down below. Uh, one is up to 21K members and the other is up to 33,000 members. So they are definitely growing and I thank you all for the support. Um, look for a post that says your best August video or I may switch it up and do something, a different theme but I hope to get that posted here shortly so you guys can start sharing for next month. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.